Hi friends, so welcome to my channel One Stop IT Prep. I hope you all are good and preparation is also going on very good. So today I'll be going on going to discuss about some interview preparation topic for like build and deployment topics. Okay, so this will be useful for the DevOps guy and who have applied for Deputy Manager Infra Cloud operations so i will be discussing about some topic in detail okay so before that if you are new to my channel so please subscribe it and those who are sbi so aspirants you can come to my channel and go to these playlists there you will find this sbi so preparation so i have uploaded many videos in this so you can see this thing you will have a pretty much clear idea about the exam like what time kind of questions can be asked okay so please like those video if you like it and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications okay so let's start so let's say you are a java developer okay so you develop some of the apis so what will you do like if you if in your local uh, like if you first you develop some of the apis then you build so what this does this build actually stands for and if you are using any ci cd in most of the projects jenkins is used okay so as a developer we are using this jenkins pipeline but behind that okay there are some guy who is creating this pipeline for you okay so like what actually this jenkins pipeline does okay so project building means it is like on packaging the entire application into a jar file okay and from this it will like uh, after deployment it will pick the jar from your project path and put in a jenkins class path okay so they made this pipeline in this way only and in the jenkins pipeline different stages are also integrated we can see so what are those all stages like you can say in jenkins pipeline we have sonar stage in sonar we can see different kind of like static code issues overall coverages and all okay uh, vulnerabilities those things we have 45 stage in 45 stage we can see different kind of attacks like uh, if, if this code is vulnerable to any kind of attack so those things we have nexa stage like our after all these thing this uh, jar should be uploaded in a particular like central repository so in most of the cases it, it is nexa repository in uh, some projects it can use some other repository also so there this jar is uploaded and finally the deployment stage i will come to that deployment stage so those who are like devops guy the question can ask like how do do you create this pipeline okay like how do you let's say i want to uh make if the coverage is below 80 percent the build should fail how will you configure that so like from a like devops point of view how you will do this thing so that type of question they can ask you okay so after that there comes deployment okay so like in some of the projects deployment can be on pcf what is pcf it is pivotal cloud foundry it's basically a platform as a service and you can say it's a like a overall it is being a overall platform so like after jenkins build successfully we are configuring the cf push commands to upload this jar as a droplet in the pcf so in the pcf what we have we have some org we have some space okay in this org and space service is deployed okay so this question can be asked like how are you configuring this pcf in the jenkins pipeline okay and in this uh, like uh, service there we need to give some memory some network some bandwidth for a particular service okay and question can be asked like suppose in a runtime the load is like uh, 
very high so how will you handle that so in a pcf one feature is there that is auto scaling we can give one auto scaling rule that based on the cpu percentage it can scale up or high okay so this is all about the pcf deployment as i worked in pcf deployment so i could tell you from my experiences Be below like pcf also there are also some of the clouds like aws gcp and like uh, azure so if you have worked on any cloud be clear with like the fundamentals of those clouds and how deployment are happening suppose in aws like question they can ask you how you deploy some instances in aws what is ec2 how are you using eca suppose if there is a database connectivity so how will you ensure using the rds service like uh, do you use lambda call what does this lambda do this thing and like how your service will be like accessible from other service how will you handle the outbound and inbound call using some security groups so those kind of concepts you should know for this ci cd okay basically i am a java developer so i don't have like direct knowledge on how the things are working on from a devops standpoint but whatever my idea is i try to explain you in that i hope it will be useful for you and if you like have already switched your organization uh, have given some interviews in private companies then you already know what kind of questions can be asked okay and if this is your first company you are working and you have applied for sbi then i will request please try to give some interview in other private companies so like you will face some questions so you will get to know like what kind of questions can be asked oh, so i hope this will be very helpful to you and like happy deepavali to all of you okay thank you